Hello everyone, my name is Salar and this is Sal the EM channel. Uh, if you are a newcomer to my channel, so please subscribe the channel, like this video and turn your notification on because I'm up to post different and highly updated uh, simulation and additive manufacturing videos in the coming future. So, uh, and I, and it's worth mentioning that I always need your support. So, uh, this lecture is about non-linear buckling of a metal sheet, but I highly recommend you to expand this uh, tutorial to other type of materials or geometries because it would be a very, very great beneficial uh, practice for your simulation skills. So do it on your home with different kind of material. Ask your questions on the comments below so I would update your questions on a daily basis and we will reach a good amount of skills after these question and answers. So let's start this lecture which is about the nonlinear buckling of a metal sheet with uh, choosing a database of a standard explicit model. So first thing first, I highly recommend you to name everything about your simulations because when you are recalling your simulations in the coming future, you may have very good understanding about what you have done in the past. So. I'm going to uh, change my model name to nonlinear buckling as abbreviation. So, and first thing first, uh, let's create our sheet metal model. So, I'm going to call it steel sheet. I'm going to choose a 3D modeling space, a deformable type of material, and a shell shape with a planar type. And I'm not going to change the approximate size of my working space. So. Click on continue, use the rectangular tool, and let's assign our dimensions. I'm going to assign 70 for this line and also 40 for this line. Okay, everything is good. Here is our shell which we are going to simulate the non-linear buckling of this metal sheet. Okay, let's go to the property, same as the other part of our simulation, name everything properly and truly related to what you are doing. So I'm going to uh, call this material steel and I'm also going to add a description which I'm going to add stainless steel 316 okay it's just for you to when you're recalling your simulation have a good understanding about what you have done in the past so uh, for this uh, simulation we just need to add an elastic properties I'm going to add 210 e3 for my metal sheet and a portion ratio of 0 0.3 okay let's create a section which is actually a shell and homogeneous and I'm going to call it section 316 okay let's assign the shell thickness which would be good to have a 0 0.7 thick sheet also the material is a seal so click OK and assign the material to my sheet metal everything is okay the definition is middle surface so let's move to the next module which is the assembly module i'm gonna call the steel sheet to the workspace as a dependent instance type so let's move to the step part okay from the procedure type i'm going to use linear perturbations and a buckle type of this uh, procedure type so uh, the maximum number of iterations actually an iteration is an attempt at finding an equilibrium solution in an increment 
So when so we make an implicit method, and actually if the equilibrium doesn't achieved at the end of an iteration, Abacus would usually do another iteration. So I'm I think 300 would be a good uh, amount and number for these iterations and. About the eigenvalues, I'm going to use five. And actually, eigenvalue is the special set of uh, scholars associated with the system of a linear equation. I will uh, simplify this definition in my coming future, in the future uh, lectures. So just accept this number and the vector number of fn for this simulation and let's see what come next okay now we are done in this step module let's go to the load we need two type of boundary conditions one for the upper edge and one for the bottom edge so first for the bottom i'm going to use a i'm going to choose from the category of mechanical and types of symmetry and symmetry and castor and choose the bottom edge make it uh, an immovable in uh, six type of values which is mean it is in castor and I'm going to assign a force from the mechanical category and shell edge loads to the upper edge so with a magnitude of one okay everything is totally set let's move to the mesh part um, as we have imported and called our uh, model and part to the assembly as a dependent so we need to choose the part we need numbers I think seven is very big two would be good okay two is good for the simulation and Let's mesh our plate. Everything is fine. Let's do the job. As always, choose the proper name. The date would be also beneficial in your job names. Everything is set. Let's just start it and let's see what comes next. I again highly recommend you to expand this tutorial to other type of geometry or materials for your practice. Okay, this is finished. Let's go to the results, and here is the non-linear buckling of this sheet. Uh, again, please subscribe, like this video, send it to your friends if they are interested in mechanical things and turn your notification on and do not hesitate on asking your questions on the comment below or in the LinkedIn. Thank you so much. Uh, see you soon.